This week, the nation's attention once again turned to gun violence and what can be done to stop it. In the last 72 hours alone, at least 69 people have been killed and 167 injured by guns in 32 states. And that excludes suicide, the largest factor for gun deaths. It was the mass murders in El Paso and Dayton that set off this latest national moment of reflection. So we close tonight with a remembrance of the 31 people who lost their lives there. David Johnson saved the lives of his wife and granddaughter in El Paso. The 63-year-old pushed them to the floor below a checkout counter before he was shot and killed. Angie Anglesby raised seven children on her own. The 86-year-old widow worked multiple jobs to feed her family and attended mass regularly. 57-year-old Elsa Mendoza Marquez was an elementary school teacher from Juarez, Mexico. Her husband posted on Facebook calling Marquez, quote, the most wonderful of women. Jordan Anchondo died while protecting her two-month-old son. She and her husband, Andre, had dropped off their five-year-old daughter at cheerleading practice. They were shopping for school supplies. 15-year-old Javier Rodriguez was starting his sophomore year in high school. He was the youngest person to die in El Paso. An avid soccer player, Javier is remembered as a fun-loving teen and a good teammate. Raul and Maria Flores had been married for 60 years. Raul was scheduled to have heart surgery just a few days later. The couple was at Walmart buying airbeds for relatives coming in to stay with them during the procedure. 46-year-old Ivan Manzano had a 5-year-old daughter and a 9-year-old son. Manzano's wife told their children only that their father died in, quote, an accident. Arturo Benavides was a U.S. Army veteran who retired as a bus driver in 2013. He loved watching football and was like a second father to his nieces. 63-year-old Margie Record was, quote, an angel to her husband of 22 years. He told KFOX TV, quote, we were going to live together and die together. That was our plan. Adolfo Hernandez and Sarah Regalado were from Mexico. Their daughter posted on Facebook, quote, I don't know how long it will take for my heart to heal. Their passing has left us with a great void. Leo and Maribel Campos had been together for about 20 years. Leo's brother said the couple was, quote, just really welcoming and friendly. Everybody says that as soon as you meet them, it's like you've known them forever. 77-year-old Juan Velasquez, originally from Mexico, came to El Paso because he thought it was peaceful. He died after throwing himself in front of his wife. Gloria Marquez moved to the U.S. from Mexico more than two decades ago. She was a health care assistant for elderly patients. Her longtime partner tried to reach her for hours after the shooting. 90-year-old Luis Juarez had been married for almost 70 years. His family told KTSM he was an amazing human being, loving, calm, and big-hearted. Jorge Garcia went to Walmart to visit his granddaughter, who was raising money for her soccer team. According to KFOX TV, when the gunman opened fire, Garcia shielded the young girls. Maria Eugenia Legareta Rote was in El Paso to pick up her daughter from the airport, according to a Juarez news outlet. The 58-year-old had planned to just stop in at the Walmart before meeting her daughter. 82-year-old Teresa Sanchez was a U.S. citizen who lived with her sister, according to KTSM. She was at the Walmart with two family members. Alexander Hoffman Roth was born into post-war Germany. The 66-year-old often talked about the importance of studying history and warned about the danger of hate. <laughs> Megan Betts was the sister of the gunman in the Dayton massacre. A classmate remembered her as artistic and polite. Quote, she always had a smile on her face. 57-year-old Derek Fudge was in the Oregon district with his son for a birthday party. He was shot as his group left a club. Fudge volunteered as a bell ringer for the Salvation Army. Thomas McNichols, who went by the nickname TJ, was a 25-year-old father of four, ranging in age from two to eight. His aunt said, quote, everybody loved him. He was like a big kid. 36-year-old Beatrice Warren Curtis and 39-year-old Monica Brickhouse were dear friends and co-workers at Anthem Insurance Company. The two were described as selfless and very positive. A native of Eritrea, Saeed Saleh moved to the U.S. a few years ago. A family spokesman remembered the 38-year-old father of three as, quote, a humble and quiet person. Nicholas Coomer was in the master's program for cancer care at St. Francis University in Pennsylvania. The school's president said he was, quote, 
dedicated to caring for others. Logan Turner had just celebrated his 30th birthday. He earned an engineering degree from the University of Toledo and recently started working as a machinist. According to his mother, quote, everyone loved Logan. 27-year-old Lois Oglesby was in nursing school and the mother of two, including a newborn. A friend told the Dayton Daily News she was, quote, a wonderful mother, a wonderful person. I've cried so much, I can't cry anymore.